This weekend is going to be a tricky one in Toronto. There are so many great events taking place but the weather could put a damper on plans. Environment Canada warns of a potential ice storm for parts of southern Ontario on Saturday and Sunday. The spring storm could impact travel, especially north of Toronto. Listen to 680 News every 10 minutes on The Ones for the latest weather updates. You can also get the latest updates at 680NEWS and at City News. If you are venturing out this weekend, plan ahead and stay safe. Better yet, let's hope the storm system fizzles out. Jens Play Hockey for Sarah A Special Ice Hockey Tournament will be held in North York on Sunday, in honor of Sarah Watkin who died in 2014 at the age of 7 from acute myeloid leukemia, a cancer that affects bone marrow and blood cells. The tournament, which is now in its fourth year, raises money for oncology research at the Hospital for Sick Children and Sports Scholarships. It will be held at Canlan Ice Sports York and starts at 8 a.m. Hockey legend and former Liberal MP Ken Dryden will be on hand for the opening ceremony. There will also be family activities and entertainment, as well as prizes that include a meet and greet with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Below via YouTube, Alex Voihansky, celebrating science The study and application of science are just as vast as the size of the universe, to infinity and beyond. But sometimes, scientific accomplishments don't get the recognition they deserve. The March for Science movement hopes to change that. On Saturday, rallies will be held in cities around the world including Toronto to celebrate science and how it is used in our daily lives, as well as to support scientists, evidence-based policy, and science education. In Toronto, the march will start at Nathan Phillips Square and end in Queen's Park. The event, which includes speakers addressing evidence-based policy and safeguarding of scientific integrity in Canada, starts at 11 a.m. and ends at 1.15 p.m. Bring back cartoon serial time Saturday mornings used to be like this Kids would wake up in while still in their pajamas, run to the TV to watch cartoons while they ate Fruit Loops, Cocoa Puffs, and whatever other sugary cereal their parents had in their pantry. Nowadays, children are too busy with early morning sports or playing with the latest technology. But you can bring back the tradition at a serial cartoon party at the Royal Cinema on Saturday. Watch your favorite and lesser-known cartoons spanning from the 1940s to the 1980s, as you revisit vintage commercials and PSAs. And the binge-watching would not be complete without those sugar-coated cereals. The cartoon party runs from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Admission prices are $15 for adults and $8 for children aged 3 to 14. Children under 3 are free. Cellists make powerful music Two Cellos is bringing its eclectic sound and high energy to the This City on Friday, for the second of two shows. Cellists Luca Sulik and St. Japan Hausa have had their music featured in classic and contemporary movies and television shows and will take the stage at Sony Center for the Performing Arts. The duo's 2014 version of ACDC's Thunderstruck has been viewed over 100 million times on YouTube, and the group has recently released a studio album. There are still some tickets available for Friday night's show, which can be purchased on Ticketmaster. Video below via YouTube, two cellos, grab me a beer and a book calling all lovers of books and beer. Queen Books and Left Field Brewery are teaming up for an event on Saturday in Les Leville. You are invited to browse a wide selection of titles and genres, all while enjoying your favorite brew. Saturday's event is on from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. At Left Field Brewery, located near Greenwood Avenue in Gerrard Street East. Coffee and Tea Time The Toronto Coffee Evergreen Brickworks will play host, as the best baristas, roasters, tea sommeliers, blenders, distributors, and coffee shops come together under one roof. You can learn more about the best local talent and international flavors, enjoy free drink samples, and discover new recipes. The expo is on from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Tickets cost $15. Transit partial closure online. Two-way heads up for subway riders who use Line 2. There will be no service this weekend between Kipling and Jane stations due to scheduled TTC track work. Shuttle buses will operate during the closure. Parking will be restricted on Bloor Street West between Jane Street and Armadale Avenue from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. On Saturday, and from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday to help with the flow of shuttle buses. The TTC says, customers traveling to Pearson International Airport may want to consider using the UP Express from Union Station or Dundas West Station due to the closure. Regular subway service on Line 2 resumes at 6 a.m. on Monday.